The wrist is getting smarter. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. More rumors are flying in about Apple working on a smart wristwatch, possibly called an iWatch. Bloomberg reports that there's a 100-person team at Apple dedicated to this project. So if that's true, this has gone beyond tinkering with an idea phase. This news comes after the New York Times said Apple's working on a wrist device that uses curved glass. With the increase of wearable devices like the Nike Fuel Band and the buzz around smartwatches like the Pebble Watch, it wouldn't surprise me to see Apple jump into this territory. The wrist is the one place on your body where we're all comfortable about wearing a screen. And it was interesting how Apple stopped making the Square Nano, which people were using as a smartwatch. This could be the relaunch of that concept. And speaking of wearable tech, the fitness brand Under Armour is taking on Nike and just unveiled its own fitness monitoring system called the Armour 39. It's got a sensor on a strap that you wear around the chest, which is something that was already being done by Wahoo Fitness. The chest piece stores fitness data and sends it to the cloud via Bluetooth. You can see how you did by going on a website, but if you want to check it while you're working out, you'll need an iPhone app or the special $200 watch accessory, which costs more than $150 chest strap sensor. If you're familiar with the Nike fuel band system, it measures activity with a fuel score, but the Armor 39 uses a willpower score measuring the intensity of your workout. It'll be coming out on March 20th. In other news we're watching, Apple just dropped the price of its MacBook Pro laptops with Retina display, and it boosted the processor speeds. The entry-level 13-inch Pro model is $200 cheaper, and Apple also cut the price of the high-end MacBook Air by 100 bucks. Several music apps are in the news. Amazon's Cloud Player will now be available in cars that have Ford Sync app link. Drivers have yet another choice to listening to music while on the go, and Amazon's app will play any music purchased or saved on the service. Headphone maker Beats Audio is coming out with its own online music subscription service in the summer. It's simply called Beats, and it will be taking on services like Spotify. The co-founder of Beats said that this would be a network that helps you curate info about your music tastes, and it can create expert-made playlists. And Slacker Radio has completely rebranded itself with a new logo, apps, and website in order to stand out from the competition. And to celebrate the rebranding, you can access Slacker Premium features for free on February 14th and 15th. That's your tech news update. You can find more details on these stories at cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.